Hello everybody, hope you are well. Thank you so much for being here. As always, thank you everyone for commenting, liking, subscribing, clients especially, but to everyone, thank you so much. So today we're gonna be doing a who is your future spouse reading who are they? We're going to take a look. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave behind whatever it doesn't. As always, if you are interested in candles, I'm going to have a little ASMR moment there. Um, I'm going to have links for my Etsy shop down below. That is basically all I wanted to mention. Thank you all so much, and I'm going to show you your piles in just a second. We have six piles today. They are all labeled down below. If you're feeling indecisive, I'll have a auto number generator link also down below. Um, wow, I'm going to say down below like 20 times, but timestamps are also down below. <laughs> Hello, Pile 1. Welcome to your reading. So, so far we have Mars in the 6th house and South Node in the 6th house. So, I'm getting this person is going to be a workaholic. Um, they may be very over-concerned with a lot of things, like basically with their day-to-day -day life. Um, I feel like this person is a perfectionist. It's not to say that they're perfect at doing everything and they're always on top of things. In fact, they're they're a little bit anxious. Like they, I'm getting this energy of this person likes to feel prepared for everything. Um, yeah, they may be the type of person who always carries like extra tissues. That's always me. <laughs> I feel like that's a really normal thing, but that gives me like strong sixth house or Virgo energy, earth energy as well. Like someone who just likes to be prepared might have like band-aids in their wallet or purse or something like that. <laughs> oh, okay. We have the magician. We have the six of wands in reverse. We have judgment. And we also have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, they're a little bit of an over -warrior. They work very, very hard though. Like this person is always a person who goes above and beyond at the workplace. Um, they're actually very, very charming with the Magician. They have strong mercurial energy. Like they come across as really intelligent. Um, this person is like quite witty. You're going to find them really charming when you first meet them. Um, pretty balanced like you're gonna look at them and feel as if they're the type of person who would be good at a lot of different things um they do have a powerful ability to manifest with the magician because despite the fact that they worry at the end of the day they bring a lot to the table and i think deep down they know that um it's like no matter how much success they get, they might like undermine it. I get this energy. They're very, very humble. Like they don't particularly like bragging. <clears throat> They're someone who likes to do things for people. They like to be of service. So even if they do like have a job in the spotlight it's more like they're doing it because it feels like their purpose not because of attention or recognition it's important to them but with the judgment i feel like this person um is seeking something deeper is seeking um spirituality like they're they're more interested in feeling spiritually satisfied because if the south node is in the sixth house the north node therefore would be in the 12th house of the subconscious of spirituality so i feel like they have this quest to feel more satisfied and secured because there is a tendency to be like constantly asking themselves am i doing enough again i'm getting an energy of someone who's very smart very talented um they're gonna be either in shape like they're gonna work out a lot or they just eat very healthy they eat very well um they will probably have a pet or they're gonna want to have pets with you like they'll be very fond of animals let's see who's your future spouse we have gemini virgo energy aries and scorpio wow they're so powerful we have panther spirit and snake spirit they're a little bit intimidating 
they don't view themselves as intimidating because they are a little bit shy and timid at times but again it's like they know how to turn that charm on they know how to turn they know how to step into their power like they can it's funny because they can play this very like they can be the bystander they can be you know the person who stands behind you and lets you shine but when they want to when they feel like they need to turn on their charm or they need to impress someone or say they're meeting your family uh your family sorry you'll notice they just know how to turn it on or when it comes to their career especially they're quite they're really really ambitious um this person's energy is really really healing right they have virgo coming up here sixth house energy um, because again this person is a provider they're a true giver um someone who's quite selfless but you know we have mars again right mars is the planet of war after all it's um about feeling energized so they're not afraid to confront people they're not afraid you know to stand up for themselves um i feel like a lot of people find them like attractive because they have this kind of charm about them but also this mysteriousness and also this you know their energy is very healing to be around like you want to be around them um you feel like being close to them you <laughs> almost get a little bit of their power like you feel protected that's another thing you feel very protected with this type of person very safe like they're gonna take care of you um like they're not gonna let anyone mess around with you basically like panthers are a very very beautiful animal even how this person moves you're gonna a snake too it's like um almost a seductive quality in either how they talk they may have a slight lisp for some of you that's not gonna be everyone or there's something quite particular in how they talk right because snakes hiss so um you'll find either the tone of their voice alluring and a little bit different and also how they walk and move for some of you this person will really enjoy like dancing or movement who's your future spouse this person's like a total boss they're they're a little bit of the whole package even though they mentally don't view themselves that way um but then there's a part of them that does know how how much of a leader they are i think they there is a part of themselves that even recognizes that other people look up to me um they're very brave they're kind of you know have this funny and carefree energy to them as well it's really interesting because this person has such a multifaceted energy um right the magician makes sense gemini's energy they really know they're a little bit of a chameleon almost they can transform quickly they can fit into different crowds pile one who's your future spouse they've had their heart broken um or they've gone they've definitely gone through some sort of trauma especially with the family for some of you they could have lost someone in their family um with the gallery of those who came before i feel this person may be breaking a lot of generational curses here um they're very concerned with creating a legacy and they like want a, par a partner they can create a legacy with this is someone who's really really ambitious i feel like you guys are very lucky this is the type of person you want on your team is how i see it they're mysterious they're very alluring um the eyes are gonna stick out to you stick out to you i mean like they're gonna stand out very hypnotizing you're gonna find this person's energy really hypnotizing oh they're very affectionate very loving which is i can definitely feel that like th they are physically affectionate um and giving we already know like with that sixth house energy this person likes to give they like to take care um of the people around them 
pile one they're so it may take you even a lifetime to get to know this person with illumination they have a lot of depth and that's because they're constantly reinventing rediscovering new things because you know aries energy gets bored easily so this person likes to push the boundaries they're by no means dull they do like to have their like safe space because this is someone who's very protective right with that panther spirit uh, spirit the snake you know a lot of black coming up which is an energy of protection um but this person has a tendency to get a little bit confused a little bit anxious at times um but there are like other parts of their personality which are stronger and override the sides of them that get overwhelmed and they're mostly overwhelmed because they're so ambitious and they take on so much and they're mysterious they're very interesting so yeah i also see i think we already mentioned aries i'm picking up scorpio and capricorn if anyone wants to book a more in-depth $11 reading, info, in, info, sorry, can I talk? Info is down below. Thank you all so much. Take care. Pile two. Hi, hello. Welcome to your reading. So we have Scorpio and Aquarius in the ninth house. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys have dealt with like bad boy types in the past. Where's my deck? Here it is. It's not that this person is a bad boy. I mean, they could be, but they come across that way, okay? <clears throat> it is very interesting it is a really magnetizing energy because this person is very much i am who i am it is what it is what you see is what you get like that type of thing um unapologetic i guess is the word i'm looking for they're quite unapologetic about who they are they're a little bit intense but also really really exciting we have aquarius in ninth house now they're looking for a partner who they can have adventures with okay this can be like physical adventures let's go travel or this is philosophical mental exploration they want someone they can um what's the word broaden someone who is going to broaden and expand their horizons who's going to help them discover new things about themselves and life um someone who's fun like i feel like whether you feel this way about yourself or not you're going to be the person who's going to hold on to this person's attention now once they do fall they do get very very fixated on someone they do get very stuck like on their person you know it's like you are mine <laughs> and um yeah they don't change their mind often but this person has a lot of duality because at the same time they do value their freedom and their space they're a little bit hot and cold like sometimes they give it I'm, i don't want to say it's going to overwhelm you but they're really like fixated on you um give you a lot of time and energy and other times they're a little bit withdrawn a little bit mysterious so who is pile two's future spouse we have the star they do have a star quality to them quirky intense but passionate like you know like i was saying earlier alluring magnetic because i just heard when you're with them you feel alive like there's someone i think a lot of people are gravitated towards this person is what i'm seeing with the star the ace of cups this is someone who's a true romantic um i think they've always been in love with the idea of love ever since they were younger they might have gone through a lot of different relationships or <laughs> had a lot of crushes is what i'm getting um but they like feeling that emotional high that emotional rush um that connections bring yeah they're very they're very intense they're very passionate about life about their partners with the ten of wands that's so funny pile one had this too and the king of swords Ooh, this person gives off big air sign and a little bit of water sign coming up uh, as well they're you're gonna find them a little bit intimidating um i said this about pile one too but pile one it was more like it's kind of a switch that the person would turn on and off this person always just has a little bit of an edge right strong scorpio here where you 
this is not the type of people pe- um, people will just say anything to like they're aware how of how they talk to this person because they do have this air of authority and leadership and i'm smart don't talk to me that way like i know what i'm <laughs> talking about um i know um i know how to handle situations and get to the bottom of things like they're quite intellectual um i think this ten of wands they get overwhelmed because it's like they have all these intense intense emotions and feelings but when they're in that state where they're just rational they're able to seize after their opportunities you know make financial gains and um kind of live this carefree and fun detached life you know living on the edge a little bit um but at the same time they crave such a deep emotional bond so they have like those two sides of them exist within themselves pile two who's your future spouse yeah very strong aquarius also a strong i keep saying it but like aquarius in the seventh house or aquarian aquarian placements we have inside looking out now because this person this is interesting so they have a strong desire to expand their life but sometimes they can think right analytical grounded um not always a risk taker even when they want to be sometimes they'll daydream about something especially you okay when they first meet their partner they're gonna watch you they're gonna observe you then they'll start to make conversation then you know they can be a little bit slow and then they're kind of gonna hit you like a truck is what i'm gonna is what i'm noticing but they're a little bit like hot and cold because they're very like free in a certain sense they like to feel free they're a little bit of a daydreamer and in their own mind and in their own world so sometimes you know they're very preoccupied with themselves and at other times um they're gonna be offering you so much giving you so much this is more in the beginning stages as you get to know this person and understand each other's love languages I do feel you'll be able to find more stability um this person is going to be very abundant with green they're very very ambitious they either come from a abundant home um they're gonna have a good job when you meet them or they are gonna reach a place of financial prosperity where you're not gonna have to worry about money because i don't know it feels like a part of their life purpose is coming to this realization that they're really brilliant that they're very smart but also like they have good instincts and um it's like they almost have this power through their passion through their faith and hope they can make their dreams come true or just this person oh, not, may not even have big dreams like for some of you they do but it's the idea of like <clears throat> i think at the end of the day this person wants abundance and prosperity so they can use that money to do things they enjoy right that explore adventure energy and they're very capable of doing this um yeah this pile this person's a little bit more materialistic than pile one like pile one was as well but it's different because this person feels as if it feels as if um i don't know it's like pile one was more of a risk taker this person feels as if they're just concerned with meeting their baseline needs of security um but they're not boring this person is very much the opposite of dull is what i'm understanding here pile two who's your future spouse you're giving away your power you are a badass act like it in their younger years it could have been more of an underdog type of thing i feel like they've given away their power through fi uh, family dynamics or any other type of relationship so they may seem a little bit by the time you meet them powerful because they've learned that lesson and they're they're pretty protective over their heart but once they give away their heart they get very vulnerable and i'm hearing they can be a fool for love right that's where that battle of the heart and mind comes and that's why they have a tendency to be hot and cold 
because they're afraid this person is afraid of getting hurt pile two healing chaos yeah they've been through chaos they've been through a lot of death rebirth cycles they've been through their fair share of trauma or life experience pile two one last card they really have always wanted a stable partnership at the end of the day the promise of forever like they're romantic they like that idea of you know promising someone long-term commitment at least like um i think gift giving is definitely their love language for pile one it was more physical affection but this person is more acts of service or gift gift giving um I think I mentioned all the placements. We also have Taurus placements coming up and Aries. If anyone wants to book a more in-depth reading, information's down below. Thank you all so much. Take care, Pal3. Welcome to your reading. So we have Scorpio, Taurus, and Virgo in the 12th house. Um, just going to find my tarot deck. Here we go. Right away, I'm getting that this person isn't comfortable with things being too emotionally deep. Like this is more sagittarius libra um gemini rising energy so very fun very charming um i'm getting that this person likes to socialize a lot they like to talk to a lot of different type of people they can mix and mingle with a lot of different crowds um let's see what else this person is it's like because they're so like light-hearted and they or they enjoy things to be light-hearted sometimes you're gonna be like okay but what what are your secrets like what are you really thinking what is it you really want or what or what are you really protective over it's almost as if they um have that side of them that kind of deeper darker side buried um I'm also hearing that this person is a child at heart, a big child at heart for sure. Pile three. <laughs> this makes so much sense. We have the Knight of Wands. Okay, here we go. So out of all the piles, this is the child at heart pile. This is the type of person who you're going to meet. Like I said, they're very lighthearted, right? Um, really, really charming. They're quite flirtatious as well um they a lot of you may be concerned at first because you feel like they're a player but they're just they're just very charming they're just very passionate they have a lot of energy they may be quite athletic or just have bursts of energy which they need an outlet for which again where that socialization for a lot of you partying is what i'm hearing is going to come through um they get bored very very easily too um we have the eight of swords interesting again this person doesn't like to deal with their emotions or doesn't know how to deal with their emotions especially if they're a masculine i think they've become if they're masculine they're very masculine like they're a little bit out of touch with that feminine side or they hide it which then does cause a little bit of overthinking um interesting interesting what who is um pile three's future spouse just had a card fall oh beautiful we have the two of cups the ten of wands has come up for every pile which is so strange um okay the two of cups interesting this person does fall for people very very hard um they don't like to settle they don't like to settle they kind of believe in this like one person capturing my heart um they don't yeah they won't settle over like practical things it's who causes my like spirit excitement um also someone who helps calm them down they do need someone who kind of grounds them someone who can be stable and a rock for them because they're they're just so fiery and so out there that they need that grounding energy someone who's gonna like <laughs> you might resemble one of their parents like because they kind of need a parent they're again they're a little bit of a kid 
obviously like not fully be a parent like they also need to take care of you um but they definitely have a really really romantic side to them um i'm getting this is going to be a very intense connection like for some of you i'm feeling love at first sight type of energy let's see what else you know they, they very much are going to view you as their other half um I'm getting you two will look very good together like you know how they say um you end up coupling up with people you kind of look like like i'm getting you will look similar or your energies or styles or aesthetic kind of meshes really well together let's see pile three <laughs> Oh, this is interesting. I think they have a stubborn side that they don't like to admit. But when you first meet them, you're going to be like, oh, this person is so carefree and go with the flow. But you'll realize there's things that they don't completely admit to themselves. Um, things that they're stubborn about. But for the most part, they actually are quite flexible. They are someone who's just... They need someone who's not going to... Like I said, they need a parent, but they also, you can't control this type of person. They do need to be someone who can roam, roam free, if that makes sense. Um, this person tends to change their mind a lot about a lot of things, is what I'm also understanding. Um, they're not always sure, like, what they're going to do next. But they just have a tendency to listen to their intuition. Pile wow they have a really loving side um like they've been waiting you know you're gonna come along and it's like they had been waiting for someone where they just wanted to be like yes this is it like this is the end all be all happily ever after they want it all they are you know this two of cups is the energy of love so they're very love oriented they really want a family they want to be really really involved um in your life in the life of not just your life but your family and your friends they kind of again they have this very social attitude they like to be liked and they often are liked so it kind of just um it gives them this sense of belonging and makes them feel good about themselves is what i'm understanding pile three who's your future spouse they're really really romantic so i do feel like they were a player in the past with wicked okay we were getting this player energy this can also speak about that they were cheated on and so they weren't dealing right they're not good at dealing with their emotions they didn't deal with their shadow side so they could have inflicted that kind of negative behavior or wearing this mask they like to wear a mask they don't like to show them their real self so it may take time till you kind of get this more mature side from this person you guys might do casual dating until they really lock you down is what i'm understanding from here um they are very attracted to someone who is independent um because they do like to chase <laughs> let's see what else who's your future spouse pile three. Oh god that's a lot pile three new moon and scorpio this is again like the typical i don't want to say player energy but the typical person that a lot of people want like there's a very attractive magnetic like this person has had a lot of people want them and they've probably turned a lot of people down um they're a little bit intimidating and scary <laughs> and um a, a little bit though i want to emphasize a little bit because again they do have this social aspect to them um for example if they find a job where they get along with co-workers or they're around exciting people um or people who they feel like vibe they can vibe with they're more likely to stay at that workplace 
they're very intense, very passionate, right, with the Scorpio energy. Um, they have a lot of sp spiritual work to do. Like the first half of their life, they're going to go or be forced to face a lot of lessons, face forced to face a lot of growth. Um, and once they do, that's when their transformation happens. That's when instead of hurting people because they're confused or don't fully understand themselves, they then become very powerful and lead by example, um, is someone that people can look up to, um, is someone who protects their tribe, protects their community and loved ones, um, and is the best at what they do, right? Because again, they have this charm, this passion about them that can take them very far. See, it's like the, the weight of the truth. They haven't fully faced some sort of past life trauma, childhood, past relationship. Once they're able to process these emotions, that is when they will come out of their shadow side. That's also when they're gonna um, grow out of this overthinking, overthinking cycle or under, not understanding themselves completely. Have you eaten? You're acting like a big baby. So interesting. This person, this is so random, but they may forget to eat. Like they're, they'll be doing so much. They do have kind of almost a chaotic energy about them. Um, but yeah, they are a little bit childish, but it's very endearing. It's very like, it's odd because you would think acting like a baby is annoying, but they're very likable they're hard not to like which is kind of why they act like a baby because they get away with it like especially when they're in their younger years but i do think in within time this person will mature um oh it's like 11 minutes so i'm gonna actually finish off your reading we have scorpio taurus virgo pisces fire sign placements if anyone wants to book a more in-depth reading, information is down below. Thank you all so much and take care. Hello, Pile 4. Welcome to your reading. So we have Pluto Pluto, sorry, and Sun in the 8th house. Now, everyone has trauma. We kind of spoke about it a little bit in the other piles. But when I say this person has trauma, <laughs> this person has been through it. They have been through some rough, disturbing stuff. It's going to vary what this stuff is, but intense, very, very intense. Um, but they have the ability to probably be the most powerful I'm getting out of all the piles. Because this type of transformation, this type of um, basically almost giving off wounded healer energy, like the person who's been through it, it's like they've grown so much from these experiences they were like i'm going to become stronger from this they always it's like taking destruction and ultimately transforming into something better stronger um something that a lot of people maybe felt like they couldn't become or the self-image they could have even had because of their trauma right our self-image is inflicted by our conditioning which therefore affects our whole life so they could have been through the lowest of lows and then people would see this person come to the highest of highs and it would take people off guard this person is very intense they're very possessive um they crave the soul connection of a lifetime this person is like intense guys um if you want someone who's not about the bs not about you know this can play in two ways right it, de it depends it's a general reading if they've grown out of the more negative cycles and learned from them or you know um so there can be a tendency like i've been through pain i'm gonna project it but I do feel like this person has a lot of potential to not be that type of person and be someone who's a leader who demonstrates because we have the sun right the sun does shine after all this speaks about i think it's the only pile to get the sun uh this person's very very talented a leader they're very striking they're very just they walk in a room and you're like 
it gives me that type of energy i've been saying for some piles very magnetizing but yeah definitely has um i don't know if i almost want to say the most like the most magnetizing out of all the piles um because they have you might not even know they've been through something there's just something about how they speak where they feel like a very very old soul um they don't like superficial things or people they're not about they hate liars this person really really hates people who lie is what i'm understanding let's see we have the chariot i'm gonna take it because i it popped out i don't always take out cards that pop out but i resonate with this energy for this person yeah they're very driven once they set their eye on something there's not much that can stop them um once they say i'm gonna do something i'm gonna commit to this they fully commit to it they won't change their mind uh, same with a person once they decide oh i like you <laughs> um and they figure out you like them back they're like it's a done deal like you're not going anywhere in their mind that's how they feel about the situation wow they're very very beautiful with empress they're extremely attractive this is the most conventional beauty i would say even if they're not conventionally or you know in terms of societal norms which i feel out of all the piles this is that conventional type of beauty um it's just they're alluring like um they will have you like hooked is what i'm hearing um even if they're a masculine they may enjoy more feminine things like skincare like they like to feel good and take care of themselves um i'm hearing gardening for some of you this person will like gardening right the empress is about just bringing things to life nurturing things um i'm also hearing like they'll love decorating the home and things like that dressing up yeah all these typically feminine things you guys like won the lottery i feel because this person is going to be your rock and they will take care of you and they will provide for you they are a ride they are the definition of a ride or die like and they just want someone who you know when they're that phoenix rising from the ashes they want someone who's going to jump into those new cycles with them that's what they're searching for it's like a soul to soul like they they just want something someone who's gonna give as much as they give and are willing to give and is serious as them um and that's like almost like their lifelong quest to build this legacy with someone because they're very ambitious they will either um, reach a place of financial prosperity or they come for some of you they come from money um for some of you they're gonna inherit money they're gonna inherit a lot of money um from a loved one at some point in their life like probably a parent but it doesn't have to be okay who is your future spouse pile four pile four okay nothing is coming out so we're just gonna take one absolutely absolutely gorgeous stunning eyes stunning hair stunning everything I, this pile is giving me life like if i wanted a pile i would want this one um they do have a strong inner child they may have like a very like loud voice or interesting voice i'm getting for some of you kind of has a little bit of a rasp to it um beautiful hair like they're very obsessed with their hair or take grooming they're very obsessed with grooming themselves they'll probably be quite hygienic you know lions cats they love to clean themselves um they for some of you are going to be really creative like they're going to work in the field of in a creative field and this person's really going to want children really going to love children for who's your future spouse i see taurus libra cancer strong leo and very strong scorpio oh my god another pile acted like uh, had this too have you eaten you're acting like a big baby 
<laughs> they're a little bit moody um that is kind of that empress energy they are a little bit sensual so they do enjoy the finer things in life they they're they're adorable i'm getting this energy they're adorable where they can be like moody when annoyances are happening in their life but you'll just be there for them and it'll make them feel really like it'll make them feel a lot better um like you'll give them some food and they'll just calm down and their mood will completely change into something that's very lovable um and warm and affectionate pile okay let's do this Ooh. oh yeah they have a lazy side they're not lazy they're very intense and passionate but they love to just lounge around sleep on it like they love indoor days or if you go on vacation they do like having that time where you're not rushing and running around they like to slow down and enjoy life um yeah they like good food good clothes like all of that type of stuff um they love to sleep <laughs> they will love to sleep or take naps or something like that let's do one more purification that kind of speaks about their death and rebirth cycle um they become very passionate about things and i feel like sometimes they do need to take that time to just detox and find balance in a sense so when they remember to ground themselves um yeah it just it just creates um more ease and flow in their life because they are such an intense person um they may need to at times detox like they take time or need to take time to detox their diet or addictions or things like that i don't i'm not getting anything too worrisome but again everything's very almost like r life or death with this person so it's about um finding that flow and balance for them so um where's my okay i can't find it it's fine uh thank you all so much for watching i also see i think i mentioned all the placements actually if anyone wants to book a more in-depth reading info is down below take care hello pile five welcome to your reading so we have saturn in pisces and saturn in the third house this person is quite cautious um in regards to who they open up to there's a very grounded energy about this person they might have saturn coming up strong in their chart so they could have faced a lot of restrictions in their life like things weren't necessarily handed to them i feel like they really had to work for their dreams and um i think they're a bit of a realist they they don't like people oh my god i'm getting this channel message where they're if someone's over exaggerating a story they can kind of tell and they're like why are you over exaggerating just be honest about what actually happened um their humor is dry they're giving off strong capricorn energy they're also very um ambitious very very hard working so yeah i just saw the knight of pentacles there who is your future spouse pile five we have the king of cups wow this person's probably the most mature out of all the piles definitely the most emotionally mature person this person's gonna be a provider this is gonna be someone you can count on um wow we had the eight of swords come up for another pile as well so yeah this person is cautious they do like overthink their decisions a little and it's just because they like to be prepared um they're not like a huge risk taker but they're very um observant is what i'm getting they're very observant about your needs and your wants they'll like quickly like when you get a birthday gift you'll be surprised that they paid attention to those details is what i'm understanding um but they really do because this person is i'm hearing an observer a watcher um it could be possible that early in their childhood environment they were um someone who didn't get to speak up as freely as they wanted to but they became really good at like um 
inspecting situations so they can read people very well they can read the room um you know you'll find they'll be their first instincts about who a person is um, and their intentions are pretty spot on sometimes they doubt themselves though they doubt i i feel like you know with saturn here you know it's this energy of it constantly makes you work for things it there never is um, a point where you're like yes i did a great job like they will have some sort of success in their life but they're very humble about it um it almost feels like they're like oh i just got lucky and you're like are you kidding you worked so hard for that this <laughs> that's the type of person they are <laughs> they give me this like <laughs> like i could hear you like joking around and calling them like grandpa not because their attitude is so much like that but it's like <laughs> they're just very chill and calm and um they take things at face value they're a realist it's kind of like how you know uh, gen z or whatever gen i don't know if you guys have heard those jokes about boomers like you know boom boomers being um extra or boomers being so skeptical and stuff like that versus the light-hearted younger generation so that's a little bit how they are they're kind of like <laughs> they're kind of a bit of a boomer at heart i don't even know if that makes sense i hope i hope you guys know what i'm kind of saying um this person's gonna be very loving though very genuine i'm hearing pile five who's your future spouse wow they have like really strong values so um some of you they grew up in a really religious home or they had a parent who instilled like strong values in them like um this person's very traditional like they're very much the traditional lover um they are kind of that cool calm collected person person who's going to be a rock person who's going to be loyal um this person doesn't give up on the people they love easily they don't like to give up on anything easily once they make their mind up about something or they decide okay this is the path i'm taking they don't tend sorry they don't tend to change they're not very wishy-washy who's your future spouse um they will be indulgent they will i think as they've always wanted to enjoy the finer things in life or always wanted to build um, this life and this home where they can provide they can create something where two people can come together and build something and you know enjoy things enjoy life um, through these really like traditional values i do feel like this will be a big family person oh for some of you you're gonna find them that's a lot of cards like a little bit shy I'm hearing you're gonna find them a little bit shy when you first meet them um for some of you even a little bit cold but they have the biggest and like softest heart they're one of those people who looks like is a little rough around the edges but actually has a really big heart which i think is going to take you by surprise when you get to know them more <laughs> i just heard they may be a little bit awkward but it's also really funny like i'm hearing this is the type of person you know what they say like i don't know if you guys have seen memes where it's like oh you haven't been through any trauma like you're so boring we're not gonna get along it's just that energy of <laughs> they've been through stuff so they'll say the most outrageous things so like nonchalantly and you'll be like what did you just say um and i don't think they take that they take what they want to achieve seriously but they don't take themselves too seriously and i think that's a very like endearing quality um yeah i think you f you look at this person and you're like you know you feel like they're very non non nonsensical uh is that the word non nonsensical like non nonsense no nonsense is what i meant to say this is funny we have um the pisces card new moon and pisces yeah you're gonna find the way they talk really funny because they are a little bit it's interesting they do have this daydreamy side about them like 
I do feel like their eyes may have this really watery quality. Um, they may have some softer features. Um, we do have Capricorn's energy. Um, I do get, you know, they can put on weight possibly, but naturally their build is more medium. Um, like, I don't think they put on weight easily, like naturally. They have a kind of, like a, sh I'm getting like the structured kind of energy to them um, in terms of appearance. Yeah, like Pisces energy is very funny because when they speak it the way i would describe it is like it's a little bit abnormal it's a little bit odd <laughs> um so they do um have this quality where you can kind of sense they've created this this world for themselves and it's kind of it's very intriguing because I think you're going to find this person a little bit different and unique from what you've known or what you're usually around and I don't know if you've ever seen um, 500 Days of Summer, I think that's the movie with, um, oh I forget his name, it's Joseph gordon Lovett and Le Lovett something and that other girl, I forget her name, where she, she doesn't let anyone into her bedroom and he, and it's like a beautiful really cool room and um, she lets the guy in that she's they're kind of casually dating at this point and it's a big deal and i think that's how you're gonna feel you're gonna feel really honored because you know this person doesn't just let anyone in and on the outside they're a little a little bit closed off but you get to know them and they have this really rich inner life and they have so much to share this person's healing though from stuff they, they may be healing when you meet them from their past um, but I think they have a lot to heal from and this full moon in Scorpio it's time to release negativity <sighs> yeah either they are healing from toxic relationships is what I'm hearing or well um, trigger warning some of you this person has been through like trauma when it comes to intimacy or something of that nature like maybe being violated or something like that with that uh, with the Scorpio card um, yeah I'm also hearing that this person does is not good at letting people in now because it's a general reading it's gonna vary but I think some of you at some stage maybe in the beginning stage of the connection you will struggle a little bit because there is some energy of negativity lingering around in this person's field so it feels like they need to heal they need to you know take a moment to stop doing what they're doing all the time and um, you know they're a realist they're very thing is they're so sensitive and they have this intuition but it's almost like they're blocking it off because they don't wanna it's like ugh, they're learning their spirituality they're learning these higher maybe concepts and a part of them might believe them but they take things by face value so they may not believe things can get better or i can face things and heal or i can manifest i can let go of this the cycles i had been through in my life so there may be like a little dance between learning how to let go of that is what i'm seeing about them um Okay, it's 11.11. 11. I'm going to finish your reading. Uh, I see Scorpio, strong Pisces, Capricorn, third house Gemini, Taurus, water sign, um, Leo placements. If anyone wants to book a more in-depth reading, my info is down below. Thank you all so much. Take Hello. care, pal six. Welcome to your reading. We have Mars in the fifth house and we have Mars in the first house. This is the energy of someone, first of all, who has a lot of energy just in general with Mars here. They're a go-getter they um probably have had a lot of crushes in their life they do love love like they're a huge romantic and they want to keep things exciting all the time um <laughs> this person again loves love they're a huge like they're just like a kid who wants to play all the time and have fun all the time you're never going to be bored with this person. They're very, very entertaining is what I'm getting. Um, 
they may have like a little bit of a party side to them is what i'm getting um yeah i'm getting a really high energy high energy type person so this is someone also who they're either going to be really athletic or um they might have like red undertones to their skin with that mars there um they may be a little bit confrontational like they may have a little bit of a short temper but it's the type of temper that flares up and then goes down is what i'm getting um <laughs> but it won't be for any reason because they're really really playful and light-hearted but when they feel a certain line gets crossed they can get defensive um this is someone who's territorial this is someone who's possessive um let's see what else who <laughs> they're not always good at like managing their emotions um <laughs> i get a funny energy from them okay who is pile six five i don't know whatever oh yeah i totally see this the page of wands this person is so funny they're like a very lovable child running around in this world and um they're always going to be like this they're always going to have this high energy type spirit about them ace of cups again they love love they love feeling stimulated they constantly need to feel like um they're building upon something in love in themselves um this person is a little bit vain okay it doesn't have to be a bad thing they're just concerned about their appearance they like to look good they like to feel good um they're very strong they're very strong oh with mars oops we have the seven of cups that just fell down so wow the king of cups the six of cups they have a big heart a really really big heart um you know, I think you get this package of this kind of person you're going to find very attractive and stimulating, but they also have this like soft side to them. So you're getting someone, yeah, I almost feel like you're getting the best of both worlds. Like um, someone who has a sweetheart side to them, but also someone who's really, really fun and has, you know, um, has a backbone to them, knows... Um, knows how to stand up for themselves when they need to and knows how to go after what they want um and they're just really fun like you're gonna have so much fun with this person is what i'm hearing i i, I keep hearing that okay let's see what else i see leo yeah i'm getting really strong leo vibes big family person um they may have like i'm getting really good like bone structure um for some of you like like really nice lips like voluptuous lips or um stunning intense eyes like there's a really kind of fiery look to them but also a little bit soft i am hearing for some of you this person may look younger or they're gonna like they might age slowly if that if that makes sense like they seem younger than they are piles i don't know six i think who's your future spouse <gasps> Ooh, this person is gonna have quite the reputation and they're very concerned about their reputation they're very concerned they want to be the best of the best at what they do and they probably will be i see for a lot of you they're gonna you know um be very ambitious about some sort of dream like when they do something they enjoy they do have a way of breaking um breaking boundaries and like making their dreams come true um they kind of have this childlike innocence kind of like how a child believes in themselves that's what this person does and because they do that that optimism mixed with their work ethic they know how to attract good luck this person will love to like travel i'm hearing um explore they're sensitive they have a little bit of an ego but i don't think it's like in a bad way pile six who's your future spouse 
I also see strong Aries, strong Aries energy, fire sign in general, Scorpio, water sign, Capricorn, Sagittarius. Oopsies. You look like a you look like a shit show. You're a hot mess. Fact, clean yourself up. Yeah, you know how like kids run around with their hairs amok and you know this person's a little bit like um like you might be like, you might be going somewhere and you'll notice like they're all disheveled and you'll like fix them up a little bit if that makes sense or they don't they don't care what people think definitely with that mars energy <clears throat> there is just a confidence in they're concerned with their appearance but they're like kind of confident enough to just be like yeah whatever i look a little bit disheveled but their energy is concerned with so many different things that they're not going to like keep themselves confined to being prim and proper and looking um i don't know they want to impress people but they feel like their energy is enough to impress that they don't have to try so hard it's funny <laughs> they're very erratic like they kind of have this hyperness to them as well like sometimes they're gonna have these um hyper outbursts and they this person would do really good like it almost sounds like a child but like would do really good if you do two if you two do like activities together um competitive things they would really enjoy yeah someone who is highly competitive they love the chase they love you know keeping things fun and lighthearted. oh my god this is so funny it's like why and it's someone here who's like basically on the floor screaming why they're very dramatic <laughs> um yeah sometimes they can focus on the problem more than the solution because again they feel things in the heat of the moment very strong so like it's very much like oh my god this just happened it's the end of the world and you might have to be like it's not the end of the world you're gonna be fine um <laughs> type of thing uh, yeah high intensity type person high emotions let's do one last card I, i'm getting they're quite yet yeah, impatient patience in reverse um they may also have a hard time forgiving like uh, i think this person okay they will forgive easily but because they forgive so easily they don't even realize they're not actually forgiving until it reaches a point where they're like wait a minute i'm act i'm not over this i thought i was over this because they will probably convince you and themselves they're over something until um you know they actually process it um i also see libra placements coming up and that's about it along with the ones i mentioned if you want to book a more in-depth 11 dollar reading my info's down below thank you all so much take care